Science Guess! Hi, I'm Science Gus. I'm a 4.8 years old scientist. And as a scientist, I love to do experiments. And today we're learning about magnets. Let's do some fun experiments. We have a mega magnet that's super strong. And it's like a hundred times stronger than this one. So I learned that iron is the best metal that can stick to magnets. I wonder if foods that have iron stick to a magnet. I have all these foods here that have iron in them. Let's see which one sticks to a magnet. to a magnet. Yeah. I have my mom's iron supplement and a chicken bone and two river rocks and a piece of gravel and three different kinds of shells. Is it stick? No. This one kind of does. Mm. And this one does. And this one does. Which one does? The shell or the shell does? They have a little hole. Oh. Thousands of coins here. Let's see if the magnet will stick. What? It doesn't even stick. We found some coins from other countries that stick to a magnet, and we're gonna do some fun experiments with them. I wonder if we do it another way around. Let's see how many coins it can hold up.
right. Yeah. What if I put the magnet in here, in the bottom of the boat, and put ice cream over it? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Three, two, one. <gasps> what? It showed up. question. So um, magnets are made of several different uh, materials. The most common are iron and nickel. And in fact, the whole world, Earth, is one gigantic magnet. It has a magnetic field and that's why compasses always point to north. They react to the magnetic field of the Earth. There are some materials that are natural uh, magnets like uh, that contain iron or nickel. There's a material called magnetite that has iron in it that uh, it's not all magnetite that forms magnets. I think that it's uh, when they're struck by lightning. And so the electricity and the lightning makes them magnetic. The way magnets work is that molecules, the smallest little bits of material, uh, have a natural uh, polarity. So there's a positive and a negative side. And usually they're all mixed up facing all different directions, but when they're magnetized, you get the negatives all facing one way and the positives all facing the other way, and that's what creates the magnetic field and the two poles uh, in, in the magnet. And so that's why they attract certain metals. And the ones that they attract the most, iron and nickel. Wow, Dad, thank you. You're I didn't welcome. know that. You're welcome. Now I have another question. Okay, what is it? Why don't American coins stick to a magnet? Oh, well, it has to do with the kind of metal that they're made of. As I said, the most common metals that stick to magnets are iron and nickel. 
and steel has iron in it and so that'll stick to metal too. But American coins really don't have a lot of those materials in them anymore. They're mostly copper and zinc. A nickel, uh, five cents, does have a little nickel in it, but it's really not enough for the magnet to stick to. So that's why American coins don't stick to magnets. Oh, I see. There you go, Gus. Thank you, Dada. You're welcome, son. Thank you, son. Thank you, son. There you go. These are all my experiments for this show. Hope you all liked it. Did you know that your action to the YouTuber's video is important? It helps us keep going. And you can do that by one is like, two is subscribe, three is give us a comment, and four is share with your friends and everyone you know. Thanks for watching. <laughs>